what's going on guys today i'm starting a uh, series of videos using cheat engine to modify rosters on nba 2k18 for the pc so let's jump right into it um the first thing we want to do is pull up the game all right so today i will be taking a look at the cheat table by careless xci from the NLSC community. Um, he spent a lot of time uh, making this these three cheat tables. Uh, and as we go through this series of videos, I will show you some updates I've made to the tables and uh, we will progressively advance, uh, advance through these cheat tables, being able to do more and more. All right, let's jump into it. Today we're doing the cheat table for editing jerseys. So there will be a direct link, his direct link to this edit jersey cheat table in the description. Also, I will leave a link to this form thread if you would like to take a look at it and contribute. Uh, you can. All right. So go ahead and download this cheat table by clicking on the link in the description it should take you to a download page like this the download is in the bottom right corner of the page all right once you have the file downloaded you will need to extract uh, extract the file to whatever folder you want to use all right so once you have everything set up turn on your game then we're going to open up cheat engine we are going to select a process by clicking on that computer icon with the magnifying glass. All right. You want to select NBA 2K18, open. Then it displays the process at the top. We want to click on the folder icon. This is where we can open up our cheat table that we just downloaded. Uh, it will be called jerseys underscore 1P0, which is for 1.0. Double click it. All right, here we go. If you get any prompts, just continue through the prompts and you should uh, you should get what I have on my screen. So as you can see, there is a lot of information here. And this info is just basically telling you each jersey that is being used in the current roster. And the current roster is the default roster when you first load it up. Uh, so if we go to play now, we're going to take a look at some interesting stuff. Let's take a look. All right. So I want to get my controller. I have my mouse, but I want to gain my controller and I want to go over to the 76ers. That'll be the easiest. All right. So if you look, we have the 76ers. And there's a lot of info, well, not a lot of information, but there is a lot of, um, there are a lot of jerseys showing up in this cheat engine menu, as you can see. So the first 60 or 62, however many, um, are practice jerseys. So you won't really need to mess around with those. But if we scroll down, let's scroll. You'll start to see that, OK, the last practice jersey is the Washington current practice jersey. That's just for this roster. OK, we're looking at the default roster. All right. So right below that, Washington practice jersey is a Philadelphia Jersey. And as you can see, it says U triple zero phi underscore current underscore home. That is uniform zero 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 because the 76ers are the very first team. So they get the triple zero and five for Philadelphia and the current home Jersey. Now in the files, it says current home. But if we go back to the game, uh, their home jersey this year they choose to wear their association jersey as a home jersey so that's that's the jersey that will be replaced this one here in white okay so what we're going to do is well we're not going to replace it but we're going to uh 
we're going to remove it from the Philadelphia 76ers set sets of jerseys, okay? So all I have to do is go to GID and I'm going to change that 0 to a 3. Press OK. And I know the GIDs, and I'll get into the GIDs a little more. The GID is just graphic ID. The graphic ID for the 76ers, the uh, current 76ers, is zero. Okay. And then you move on to other teams. So I changed it to three. I'm sorry. I keep. Let's see. So if I change it to three. Oh, get back to the 76ers. So if I go away from the 76ers and come back and then press the Y button on my controller, as you can see, that association jersey is no longer there. So let's go through all of these jerseys. Nope, it's no longer there. But I changed the GID or graphics ID to three, which I already know what team that is. That's Chicago. So... You know, graphic ID zero is Philadelphia. Graphic ID one is the Bucks. Uh, two is actually not the Bulls. Graphic ID three is the Bulls. Graphic ID two is for the Washington Wizards because they used to be called the Bullets. So their team used to be before the Bulls. But uh, anyway. Graphic ID 3 is for the Bulls. So we're going to see that Philadelphia Association jersey here with the Bulls. So I'm going to press Y on my controller to look at some jerseys. And let's get all the way through them. There it is. It appears here. So what we have done is we have moved, we have moved the jerseys from... Uh, well, we just moved that particular jersey from the being assigned to the Philadelphia 76ers to the Chicago Bulls. OK, so um, that is something very interesting that you can do if you want to build rosters. And that is mostly what I use this cheat table for. Now, there are a few other interesting things you can use the cheat table for, such as changing your shoe color, um, your team, your team colors assigned to team shoes and team team colors assigned to the headband and socks. I don't think the socks one works all that well, but the others appear to work pretty good. OK, so. While we're still in this jersey. I'm going to set the graphics ID or GID back to zero and I'm going to press OK. And now when I go through the Bulls jerseys that so it was there, that 76 jersey was there. But as I scroll back through it again one more time, it's no longer there. OK. So if I go back to 76 ers it's there again. OK, so I assigned it back to the 76 ers graphic ID. All right, so let's jump into. We need to look at a roster. I'm just going to go to my. I have this is just my test roster that I use. So let me go back over to the 76ers. Let's see, does anybody wear a headband on their team? Probably not. So what we'll do is we'll just use McAdoo. Go to edit player and the screen that I like to go to when I'm an edit player messing around with things is the shoe slash gear because if you switch from home gear to away gear the player refreshes so let's look at the home shoes as you can see he's wearing team colors and I'm going to change the I'm going to change what the shoes colors are okay let's you need the hex value of the shoe color. And let's say we want to do breast cancer awareness month, uh, a roster for that. Or if you're in my league, you just want your team to wear pink shoes for one night for breast cancer. Uh, what you do is I just go to Google, type in hex color, and then I can you know, find the value. These three numbers here are what we need. 210, 115, 210. So we're going to pull up cheat engine 
going to go to, let's see, I'm going to use shoe color two. I'm going to double click on this value with three numbers and I'm going to just overwrite those. I'm going to type in 210 space 115 space 210. Press OK. Now I'm going to go back to the game. As you can see, his shoes have not changed, but if I go to shoe away, he refreshes and then go back to home. As you can see, there is some pink in his shoe now. All right. So that's how this works. Uh, happy to give this tutorial. Um, I'll be back with you guys with another tutorial using Cheat Engine. Again, the link to this cheat table for jerseys is in the description. And this is just the first version. Thank you.